Alan Perry is an English folk singer slash songwriter and community music festival organizer from Liverpool. A storytelling musician, Perry often weaves social commentary into his tales, and political songs feature as part of his repertoire. He went on to become a solo acoustic artist before recording his first album Corridors of Stone in November 2006. The album represented a new sound for Perry as he was backed by drummer Thomas Western and bass player Rob Harper, formerly a keyboard player with the Mighty Wah. Leanne Steinberg, a music writer in the Big Issue set of the album, the Liverpudlian singer-songwriter packs more weight in the punch of his folk songs than most acoustic musicians do in a lifetime. Perry followed this up with a commemorative EP of original songs dedicated to Liverpool to celebrate the city's 800th birthday, featuring drummer Howard Northover and bassist Chad Draper. Spencer Lee described Perry as one of the most incisive songwriters on Merseyside. Perry has been a champion of the local music scene, having promoted Second Friday events, payday playtime band nights at the Casa and for hosting his weekly acoustic slice showcases at Liverpool S. Par Street Studios from 2006 to 2008. Liverpool.com described Acoustic Slice as by far the best acoustic night in Liverpool. The Liverpool Echo, in the run-up to European Capital of Culture Year, named Alan Perry, along with the city's other poets, playwrights, authors, and songwriters within the top 30 reasons why Liverpool was culturally great. Perry was also the founder and organizer of the Liverpool Working Class Music Festival, supported by the TUC, which took place annually 2008 to 2011 with the aim of bringing the very best radical musicians to Liverpool for a celebration of working class life through music and song. In September 2009 the album We Can Make the World Stop was released by Irregular Records, a Brighton-based record label specialising in radical song, and closely associated with protest singer Rob Johnson. Other performers supporting Alan on the album were Barry Briarcliff, Stu Thompson, John Withnall, and Sharon Latham. In February 2010, Perry founded and launched the Woody Guthrie Folk Club which aims at being a home to songs of struggle, humor, and justice. The Folk Club takes place monthly on the final Thursday of each month, but is currently on a brief hiatus. In September 2013 he released the album When the Sunlight Shines, which consists of 15 tracks. It features the musicianship of Gina L. Efo, Gabrielle Monk, Gerard Sugru, Stu Thompson and Emma Runswick. The album stays true to Perry's social commentary and storytelling style, but with an Irish-American feel to the music. BBC Radio Merseyside featured the album in a one-hour special on their folk scene program. R2 magazine described it as glorious, a tremendous breadth of lyrical ambition. Outside of music, Alan Perry was the founder of AFC Liverpool, a cooperative football club who have been playing in the North West Counties League Division 1 since the 2008-2009 season. He stood down from the club chairman's role in November 2008 but was unanimously made life president by supporters at the club SAGM in August 2009. He was the presenter and producer of the fortnightly football podcast LFC Copcast, as well as the music podcast Acoustic Playtime which promoted the Merseyside music scene. He is the CEO director of the social documentary My 50s Liverpool which was screened at Fact Independent Cinema in April 2011. He works as a trainer and mentor, helping social enterprises, freelancers, business leaders, and creatives.